There was a, there was a lot of turmoil. There will continue to be turmoil. Hopefully, um, and actually, I believe what will happen now is everything's going to amp up. I believe that not only will she be sad about her son, she's going to be enraged by her son. Hopefully, she will let her son have it because that needs to happen. Um, I think that everything we were curious about and the questions that we have as like fans going why 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 those will be answered and then we can go on from there um, which I think is going to heighten the drama I think it's going to heighten the relationships with other people it's going to make it one of those shows where you know you, you feel pulled in and you're not quite sure who to root for but then you, yeah you get on this team and then you're massively disappointed and, and I think that all of that will happen and we'll discover how truly um, evil Anna is and you can tell her that I said that I, I will <laughs> um, with the aftermath of the finale last season where does the resistance stand well I mean they scored a major blow but they took a lot a lot a lot of like damage I mean we lost we lost Ryan we think you know we lost um, Mark you know so we think I mean we we took so many hits that but I think we also became stronger and what's really interesting is that um, now Erica has a tenuous trust with Hobbs and I like that because I feel like he's a really strong player and it might be really interesting to see what happens if they are actually trusting each other and able to work together. I think the two of them make a nice pair. Is this season really about the war, the beginning of the war? Absolutely. It's definitely the beginning of the war and it's definitely something where what I had a hard time with in the first season we sat around and talked about it so much but I really feel like that had to set everything up and I feel like that's what we've set up. We've done that and now we're going to go from there and I'm, I oh, couldn't be more excited. There's nothing worse than putting me on a couch and putting a camera in my face. It makes me crazy. So I kind of just like to get in there and do things. And the relationship with Lisa started to change. Oh, look Made me happy. <laughs> uh, the relationship with Lisa, you started to sort of change a little bit and accept her a little bit more. Is that going to kind of continue the season? Oh, yeah, definitely. And I, I think as the character gets more and more in jeopardy and all the other characters get in more and more jeopardy, we're going to become far more erratic. You know, there's not going to be that thing where we're all kind of smooth and we just do this because that was really interesting, kind of, but I think it's going to be far more interesting to have us all be very jagged for different reasons. Ryan is jagged. Erica will be jagged. You know, things will happen that will tear, tear their worlds apart. And as sad as that is for human beings, it's really good for characters. Different so, alliances will form. Different alliances will form. Some people will fall. Some people will grow. It's going to be pretty cool. And the show deals with so many political issues and the real world issues. Is that part of what you really liked about the series coming in? I didn't even really think about it, to be honest with you. I thought it was mainly dealing with religion. So I was, um, I was excited. People kind of took such a, a political bent about it, but it certainly wasn't my intention. I mean, my politics are, are my own, but they're vastly different than, than what people thought the show was. Yeah, so, so it was actually really interesting to me. 